Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Samsung channel. Today, we are going to be unboxing and review the Robot Spirit Do Gundam Assault. Sir, I don't know how to pronounce that. Okay, I'm just going to call it AS. And um, so I got an HG version of it, so I'm ready to compare. If you watch my videos before, you know how I got this. I bought it on a Facebook market sale. It was a very cheap price. It is a second hand, but uh, I think it's going to be good. Well, I think I forgot to kind of open the box up. So give me a minute. So I'm just going to quickly open it. And then now look at the back. So we got uh, the seat equipment, pose, proportion, kind of introduction and it's convertible to two different forms you can convert it to the as mode or the normal mode and there's a couple there's a couple description here the weapon open close and then yeah kind of like that so the part that i like the, about the robot that machine is at the back they give you a lot of informations as well it's not just plain like cough cough premium bandai cough cough and uh, let's just quickly open it. So I already cut it open. So let's just take a look. So now we will just generally pull it out. Oh, oh, they include a blade. They include a base for you. Wow, how nice. And I think I assume there's gonna be a yeah. There's an instruction book menu at the inside. So let's take a quick look. So we got, so we got the instruction about how to put on backpack, beam savers, shields, and then guns. We got action, how do you put on the action base as well? Wow, that's detailed. And then we got, what's that called? We got beam savers, in fact, part. And then now here we got the AS mode, description and then equipment. So let's just hope it's not gonna be very tough to put it in because I heard because I look at some reviewers before they said robot damage often have too loose or too tight um, joints and let's just hope that doesn't happen to us. All right, quick look is done. Let's take a look. So this is the action base. Let's assemble it later. Now let's look at the main course. This is the Dew Gundams and. As usual, Robo Damage is plastic and uh, it's pretty hard to get rid of. Let's just give me a minute. We'll take this off. It's very hard to take it off. Oh, wow, 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 wow. I don't want to fall out. Okay, so let's take a quick look. Let's take a quick look. Um, so we got hands options. We got a pair of open hands here. Got trigger hands. Got connect. We got two trigger hands. And then we got two weapon holding hands, two fist hand on the MS. We got a, we got the front skirt of the AS mode. It feels very sloppy and very not reliable. <laughs> yeah, it's, as you can see, it's pretty sloppy and not really reliable. I'm pretty afraid of it, I just said. And this is basically it. And Let's just see what else we got. We got new size skirts here, and then we got back skirts, got legs armor here. So let's just kind of take it out and look at the, look at the paintings. So it says it's not gonna affect any kind of movement. So it is true because they did you give you a separate joint in it, and it's locked by a joint. So I assume it's not gonna fall out. Let's hope. Let's look at the paintings. Let's like it. Let's look at the the. Coloring. The coloring is pretty good. It's pretty good. I just have to say though, I think mine didn't have a bangle on it because you know sometimes when people bought Robo Damashi, they often got a bangles on it. You know what's the bangles? Uh kinda like a painting mistake or something. Let's look at the backpack. Wow, this is a nicely detailed backpack, I must say. And this is the beam sabers. Oh, you don't have to put in the beam sabers, they only put it in for you. Oh, it is screwed. So it's gonna be a lot more safer. Uh, let's look at the add-on parts. This is the painting. Wow, that's extraordinary. Look at this silver, orange. We don't have to do any painting. How about a railgun? Railguns uh, give you the color separation on the. I mean, they did paint the scope. That's the main thing. And then you have to pull 
poor part of the shoulder to put it on, right? Well, let's get to the assemble part. I know you guys been waiting to say it. Uh, come on, man. Stop talking. Okay, last one, last one, last one. This is the last talking. This is all. Oh, that's the most exciting part. They paint the missiles. That is great. Anyways, okay. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop talking and actually get to the assemble part, okay? So, let's do it. Let's start the review. So this is what it looks like when you come out when they come out of the box. As you can see, um, it's way more detailed than the XG one, obviously, because the XG one, if you built one before, is horrible. It requires a lot of uh, repainting and and a lot of parts. It's just large stickers over and over and over and over again. So let's just check out the you know very basic movement before i went into a comparison between the robot damashi and the xg version so first as usual the head is very movable and it can move 360 no problem at all it's a ball joint at the neck so it might pop out so please be careful and next up and next up the head at the arms it's freely movable it can move to the front as well and it is capable of bending like a RG and is also able to lift and is also able to lift uh, 90 degrees and also we got a lot of options hand for you if you really want to switch the position between hands between the hands and this mobile suit don't have a front skirt until all the armor be put on so we do have a side skirt the side skirt can move up this much there isn't a back skirt until the armor is attached, so well, let's just leave it like that. And the hands is a ex is a extensional ball joint here, so you can switch to whatever hands that you want. Just um, you know, take it out from the box, and then you can just put it at somewhere else that you want. And then next up, we got the the legs, so the legs can kick to the front, kick to the back, not really kick, not really kick to the back and then I kick to the side and then you can bend a very good angle and now the feet is a double joint so you can move the tip of the feet and the feet is pretty free from uh, limitation so it can turn around pretty in a pretty large distance so overall the posting on this Gunpla is pretty good and also they added a joint that the XG don't have they have a double joint on the waist which you can pull up slightly and even create more movement and then you can just put it back like this and it is a ball joint though so i'm afraid it's going to be loose someday but only time can but only time will tell about the the stability of the gampla and then at the backpack we got the beam savers that can move 180 that is crazy man that is crazy that's just like more than what we asked for and Overall, the movement on this Robo Damashi Do Gundam is just amazing. There may be some panel lining you might want to do. As you can see, there's some armor detail on the actual Gunpla itself. You might want to do some panel lining, or yeah, yeah. yeah I just say, I, I, let's just say that you might want to do some panel lining because that's way more detailed than the XG ones, and I really recommend you to do that. But this time, the I think I kind of hit like a jackpot or something. So if you look closely to the legs, it isn't sanded completely, and there's a that's pretty rough work here. And at the back of the hands as well, as you can see, got some bangles on the gampla. I got some bangles on it, but it's fine as long as it's not you know very clear at the front. Like usually people look at the front rather than at the back. As long as they don't have really any kind of painting or you know very large scars on the front, I think that's pretty acceptable. And as you can see here, Robo Damashi always got this sound when you whenever you turn the torso and whenever you turn the waist. So yeah, so I feel like it's gonna break but it's pretty stable so I am fine with it. And now, let's get jumping to putting the equipment on. First, let's put on the arm. Let's put at the uh, assault, the AS armor on the gun itself first. So first, we're gonna need the backpack. So the backpack, we're starting from the backpack. So first, we got the 
backpack right here as you can see is pretty nicely detailed and all you have to do is pretty simple all you have to do is just you aim for the joint at the back and then you simply push it in and there you go now you see it's pretty simple like this and then next up we'll have to do some removing and then you know putting it back you know just like an xg but not really crap like an xg okay so next up we're gonna need to use some forces so now as you can see i removed the chest piece and all you have to do is just putting the new chest piece back onto the gambler and it's pretty easy to come off actually for this one but if you want to put it back to the normal mode it might be a little bit difficult and be careful when you're pulling the parts away because you don't want to break them you definitely don't want to break them and next we will have to do the front skirt the front skirt is pretty easy it's just like the torso and then all you have to do is just pull this part out and then replace it with a new one and now you have a proper front skirt congratulations but this front skirt honestly is pretty sloppy so i am a little bit concerned about this so next up we will have to you know do some uh, do-overs on the hand so first we're gonna need to we're gonna need to add some extra arm piece on the hands on the arms on both sides remember adding some extra pieces on the armors so now it's just simply you find the joint and then you push in like this so you know you might want to be a little bit careful because robo damashi's joint is pretty soft sometimes so you might see me you know keep fixing the gamma huh? so as you can see it's slowly building it's slowly building up and next up we'll have to do the rail cannon the rail cannon you just have to push the joint to the correct position and then you simply just push in and then there you go the rail cannon is attached remember when you're when you're putting in the missile parts be sure you have to find out which side of the missiles is because the missiles is supposed to be facing the front so you might want to be you know finding the position before you actually put it on so you know just give me a second and there you go the right arm now the upper body is basically done now let's do the legs so the legs is pretty simple you find the joint and then you put it in that's just how simple it is i can't get any simpler so you find the joint and then you put it in so now i've done one leg though i'm gonna do the other leg as well now lastly we're gonna have to do a little bit of extra work so we're gonna flip to the back of the ms and then we're gonna pull out the back skirt and then replace it with a new one honestly though the back skirt attachment is not really that solid so i'm afraid it's gonna pop out so let's just hope for the best anyways all right so now we completed the whole procedure thank you so much the dual as is being bourboned so after all the weapons been put on and this is basically what it looks like and i have to say though it is sloppier than xg but it's seriously more detailed than xg and i think it's personally is not it's not more annoying than the xg the xg one the parts never stay together but this one the parts do stay together but the only part that don't stay together is the arm piece here is very and i mean very easily pop out if i just you know accidentally poke it or anything like that this back armor piece on the arm will actually fall out and i am sorry to you know hear that but but what we do have is a uh, very very you know very good details in the actual gunpla and the only thing that is in that uh the armor is influencing right now is the the arms are no longer can move to the front it's not it's, it, it can move to the front but not that much so the only part that influence about the armors will be this part only and now let's do a let's do a you know a little accessory introduction before i move to the xg comparison all right now so we are up to the accessory part so first we do have a couple options hand so first we got a pair of the open hands and then next up we got a you know a weapon holding hand it's actually a pair of them and then and then we also got a trigger hand that i put on the uh, mobile suit right now and we have a standard posting fist hand if i can take it out and then we have a standard fist hand right here other than that we have a beam saber effect part is 
compatible with the beam sabers that store at the backpack. All right, now guys, I'm gonna do a comparison between the XG and the Robo Damashi version. And honestly though, I'm not gonna take off the XG, uh, the XG's full armor because first I built this like what, eight? Like by the time that it came out, it's probably like what, seven or eight years ago. That was, I built this like seven or eight years ago. If you want me to move it, I'm afraid I'm gonna break it because you know everyone knows that Gamma will eventually reach the state that they're gonna break. So I'm not gonna break that. But we can do a short comparison on the XG and the Robo Damage. So first, uh let's jump straight into it. First let's take a look at the XG head. So the XG head uh well well, back in the days that I'm not doing Gamma very seriously, and you can you can tell that I didn't do any pen aligning, and all the stickers start to falling off right now. You can see, and back in the days that XG, the head is pretty what it's pretty simple, and it's just like this, and the color obviously got a different. So the stickers give us a light orange color. What meanwhile, Robo Damashi gave us a very heavy like a slightly heavier orange color and you can see they have an extra detail on the head here this panel line detail line here i don't know can you see it or not and the head is totally different so the xg version is uh more like a sharper a sharper head so meanwhile the robot machine overall is a rounder head and you can tell that by difference and obviously the antenna on the robot machine is more longer than the is way is is way longer than the XG one. Next up, uh, let's look at the chest differences. So the XG chest is all stickers, and and is pretty. It and it actually makes the Mobsuit look a little stronger because it's way more larger than the Robot Damage ones, and and I think the color is a little too light. But on the on the and you can see there's no extra detail on the waist here. And meanwhile, if we take a look at the Robo Damage version, so this time the chest may long as look as strong as the XG version, but it definitely give a better precision than the XG one. As you can see, it added additional color details here and the part here as well, which the XG don't have any of it. And yeah, because you know, you can move the waist whatever you want. So I guess that kind of makes sense. Next up, let's look at the shoulders. So the shoulders, as we can see, the railgun on the XG is very short and it's a very simple joint, you know, just, it's just clipping it on. And then at the other side of the missile pod, as you can see, this part can be moved. And there's a triangle on it, which the anime does have it. It does have on the MS, it does have the, uh, does have a, that triangle on it. And meanwhile, if we took a look at the Robo Damage version, so first the rail gun is way longer than the XG one, and it and is definitely looks a little bit more better. And then the part that separates the XG and the Robo Damage version is this part here. So first on the Robo Damage version, you can open it, and it does give you a color separation in it, and then. Secondly, the thing that is lack to, you know, very uh, reshape what is in the original kit is the triangle on the surface. But if you want, you can just rip, rip from your XG and put it on there if you really want to. All right, next up, let's take a look at the way. So on the original XG race, let me, let me put this away. On the original XG race, this is fixed and can't be moved. So as you can see, the front skirt and the back skirt is fixed. And even a side skirt, you can only move a slightly bit of it. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's bland. And then you look at the Robo Damashi's one, they, it's, it's adapt to move. And then, you know, side skirt is able to move as well. And then the back skirt is able to flip up as well. As you can see right here, it's able to move. So this is basically the waist difference. And you can look at this, like the, the XG one is more as a, you know, plain, white and then if you look at the robo damashi versions if you look at the robo damashi white is a little bit gray and this is a little bit of color separate you know a little bit of color difference from the xg kit and the robo damashi next up the legs part the legs part is obviously after the waist the biggest difference of the kit as you can see from the xg version it is very bulky and it is very you know it, it 
it is fitting the theme of additional armor and this piece and this part of the legs is can be movable and the feet is obviously larger and then meanwhile we we'll look at the robot machine the legs is uh vin is you know thinner and then the feet is smaller and it gives you additional details on the legs and then it also gives you a movable part at the back and at the front as well and the robot machine Overall, I think like if you want me to compare them, I would say that this is the old version and this is the revived version of Bandai. Like if you really want me to give an example about it, I will just give you this uh, example because this is basically what it looks like. So, uh, you know, if you build a, let's say L-Strike before, if you build an L-Strike old version, like the A01 version, the A01 version is just looks exactly like a do like this do Gundam XG ones. It's bulky, it's short, and it looks pretty weird. And then after they have the XGZ revive version, they have a very uh, slimmer version of it. And this is giving me exactly what it feels like. So this is the old version, and you can obviously tell this is a newer version. But although if you if you want me to say it though, I like. It. The only thing that I like about the old version is the head. And next up, let's take a look at the weapon. So the weapon here, as you can see, is on the Robo Damage version, color separation clearly, and then it's longer. So if you, and it's slightly thinner and longer than the XG version. If you take a look at the XG version, no self color separation, and it just look bad. Like the details is, is a it's not as much as the Robo Damage and it's, if you look carefully, the Robo Damage version is slightly longer than the XG version. And if we take a look at the shield, it's definitely different. So at the, on the XG version, there's marking on it and no color separation. And then obviously the shield is bigger than the Robo Damage. The Robo Damage though, they rescale the whole shield and give a proper color separation. Although the label will be missed, but you know, you, I, I think the color difference will be, you know, um, more important than the logos. Next up, let's look at the backpack. So the backpack here, as you can see, wow, color separation, fully detailed. And then the, you can move the beam savers as well. And then now when we turn to the back of this gamba, as you can see, there's a lot of difference. If I just put it this way, you can see the difference here. So first, um, the joint on the beam saver is definitely different. The robot machine version is more going out. And meanwhile, the XG version is straight up. And we can see the connector on the backpack. So the robot machine version is a, you know, move, obviously is movable and is, you know, a, a slightly shorter. If you look at the, if you look at the XG version first, no color separation. Second, uh, it is a little bit rounder on the, uh, beam saver joint and then we look at the bottom of the thrusters overall you can see differently so the thrusters on the uh, robot lama sheet it looks nicer first is the color separation uh, secondly the scale the scale looks way and i mean way better than the xg so if you look at the xg version it always look a little bit weird and when you look at the uh, xg version and the robot lama sheet version the robot lama sheet versions at, at the back thruster here sorry the back thruster here you can see is uh, one going out, one going down. And then meanwhile, on the on the XG version, you can see both of them is going down. So this is a you know a little bit of difference. And if we look at the top, the top is mostly different. So the top of the backpack, as you can see, the Robo Damage -E version, there's a uh, a pop up spot, actually three of them. And then meanwhile, the XG is just purely nothing. And that is basically the comparison between them. Oh, and also the joint. If you look at the joint closely, the XG version is a T joint, and then the and then the Robo Damashi is a square joint. So this is the end of the review of the Robo Damashi Duke Gundam, and thank you for watching. Uh, the reason why I'm not using the Robo Damashi action bait is I have to say though that action bait is horrible. First, is not capable of holding the MS. Second, is it is very bad. Like doesn't even stick on it the, like the tip of the joint doesn't even stick in it and then all i have to do is i need to take out the action base 2 that i usually do with the xgs and then i just put it on there right now and as you can see it it help i mean it's pretty stable compared to the robot machines ones and now as you can see it works out pretty fine and i would like to say though this is a pretty 
good robot time machine. I really recommend you to, you know, if you have the condition, if you have the money, just, you know, or you, if you have a chance, just, you know, get one with a reasonable price and then enjoy it. And other than that, I don't really think there's much to say though, but this is the time that I actually first time think robot time machine isn't that bad because, you know, back in the very old days, I actually bought one and it was terrible. But now, I kind of feel like Robot Machine isn't all terrible. They they do have some good products. Like for example, the only thing on this do is the the waist part is probably a little sloppy, and I like it feels a little sloppy. So I'm not sure about um what about the future. Like when when you store a couple more months, will it gonna be even more sloppier? That's still unknown. But that's pretty much the review, and let's wrap it up. And I will see you guys in another video. So uh, have a nice day and goodbye.